All right, so here's our drone alien router, and we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup process right now. Um, sorry, I'm a kid. I had to mess around with the antennas and make it look kind of cool for the flying. Sorry, this is not. This does not double as a drone. I wish it was. Um, maybe someone could 3D print that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the power in in the back here. Power cord, and then we're gonna put in our sleek Ethernet to the yellow WAN port. Okay, power button, click. And it's gonna be going through a series of lights here. They're all white, uh, except for the two at the bottom because those are the, uh, the USB ports, the 2.0 and 3.0. We don't have anything hooked into that, so don't worry. So the power is at the top. Right below it, we have the internet one, and that one's white, so that's good to go. 2.4 and 5 are both on as well. So everything looks like it's fired up and it's ready uh, to go here. So what we're gonna do is go into our computer. First thing we're gonna do is take a look at our Wi-Fi configuration card. This is going to show your SSID and your password again. And I'm gonna go ahead and check out my Wi-Fi networks and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser, whatever one you prefer. And to get directly into it, you go http colon slash slash router dot local. All right, in. All right, so we're at the first screen. It's gonna be a summary of all the steps you need to go through. And there's the, um, basically just outlines it for you. So we're gonna go ahead and click next, preferably in English. All right, so right now it's showing my default D-Link BBD2 SSID, and it's also showing the password. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it that way. But this is where you get to um, be creative and put your funny Wi-Fi name in there. And um, that's gonna be the one you're gonna to connect to at all times. We're gonna move on to next. And device admin password, since there's none that's been placed, the default is password. Okay, so now here's a summary of our dynamic IP DHCP and showing our SSD again, password, um, and then password for admin, which is also password. And it's gonna ask you if you want to register for my D-Link or if you have um, an existing account you wanna link this router to. What's great about that is you can um, go ahead and log into your router remotely and you can, you know, um, kick devices off if you need to, or do any uh, certain configurations from afar. And all right, so here's the ultimate summary, including the device admin password, Wi-Fi network name, password, okay, we're all good, finish. So that's everything, guys. So you know, once we get in, we're gonna go to a really easy dashboard, and um, from there you can do further, further configuration. But at this point, we're up and running. We could get a device on, and I think we're good to go. So thanks for uh, joining, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.